Um, okay, I'm gonna do this VOD review, I guess. Arriving at Watchpoint, Gibraltar. Prepare to attack. I mean, first Select off, if you hero. consider yourself to be decent at like Roadhog and uh, other heroes, you shouldn't just insta lock Anna because there could be someone on your team who like only plays Anna and then you're, so guys, you're making them play some yeah. other shit when you could just be playing Roadhog. Okay, you know? guys, I'm the carry here. Even if your Roadhog isn't as good as your Anna, Locking maybe me. Anna is like the only hero they play. You too, soldier. You're gonna drop you on. <laughs> just follow maybe this wait like man a few seconds before you pick it or something. That was like not a bad grenade, I guess. Soldiers, but you should. Well, if you hit it, you should play your game. You to go kill him. You're like standing still. Like what? You just stood still for like. You wouldn't have to self nade there if you didn't literally stand still for like two seconds right here. You just stop moving. Like what? You're just like, you know what? I'm just gonna stand still to take one shot at the Genji, which makes it easy for the Lucio to do literally 100 damage to you, because you just stood still for some reason. Then you have to self nade here. Every time you self nade, it's like bad. Like you you want to avoid that. You don't want to be self nade. I would have probably walked forward to make it easier for me to get to sleep. I mean, it depends. In my game, I, the soldier would be like having sick aim and hit constant headshots on me, so I would just try to hide. I would hit that like that far sleep and try to hide. But in this game, the soldier's not going to be that insane. I would try to like walk forward as, until he starts running away and then go for a sleep from as close range as possible. Uh, but then also in these games, sometimes your team might not even follow up on it unless you like scream at them. So, like you basically have a 300 health or like 299 effective health with grenade because you can always self nade. So you could walk forward a bit and try to hit a, a like your sleep because getting that kill on him would be pretty big. How is your team dying? I get it. What even happened? How did they just die? Soldier. Like you're missing shots on your Reinhardt. What the fuck? How do they die? Okay, your Genji just died to poke. I'm assuming you could have probably healed him. I don't know. Uh, Lucio died to a one shot Hanzo, so you couldn't do anything about that. If your Zarya dies here, it's gonna be bad because she's high energy. She's like the main one you should be killing. Duran just fed. Like an animal. Genji, try to get this uh, soldier. He's melting. If this Zarya dies right now, I'm gonna fucking change. I would be nanoing my Zarya like right there. Nano is so quick to get. It's like not even a good ult. And you, if you keep track of what your Genji's at, he's pretty. He died pretty soon. He's, he died pretty quickly, so it's probably at like forty at most or something. You could probably just nano your Zarya. It helps your build grab. Like even if she doesn't get any kills, worst case she farms like forty percent of grab off of that one nano. And Grav is a way better ult than Nano, so it's like arguably worth it. But at, at like at best, it it wins you the fight like by itself because it just gets gets your Zarya to get kills. At worst, it gives her some charge for Grav. Like I would just I would Nano her like right there. You see the wrench is at like 500. You just need to Nano her, and she can easily melt through it and then kill him. Like. It's watch how many sh like healing, how much healing you do after you could have nanoed your Zarya. Like, you could just nan you could have nanoed her that fight. 
probably yeah, we have, uh, uh, yeah. And you're you've right. already done like enough healing to yeah, probably get like like a good amount of your health back. Soldier T V. You're like lagging. What what is Ready? that lag? Three two. What? Oh shit. Like yeah, like what is he what is he gonna do there? He's gonna fucking visor from right up there and just shoot the ranch shield. Like the, if the enemy team's like not retarded, they're just gonna go in there, which they they were already in there. They're not gonna come out into a nano visor. They're just gonna hide in there until it's over. But he's just gonna shoot the ranch shield. That's it. And you could have accomplished the same ranch shield shooting by just nanoing your Zarya. So yeah, you're probably gonna win this fight because you've like two now they res, and you just use like 5 ult, you don't die, because you use all his ult. What was your last nades? I mean like, you probably didn't even need to nade there, because the Genji fucking sorted. Oh, well. Releasio just felt like throwing by beat dropping, I guess. You didn't really need to nade there. Somebody on, like, if you, you were thinking about it, you could, you would have been, you should have been like, oh, there's a mercy. We need to, like, use our ults in this order so that we don't just use nano visor and then grab sword and beat drop all at the same time. And then they're just res and grab us and we lose. Oh, if you could call that out. Well done, mercy. They're like, well done, mercy. Like, I don't know, dude. I never heard of Mercy as a hero. I didn't know she could, uh, res people after they die. We cool. should've broke shield before we did that. That was my bad. Yeah. Genji, why did you pop your ult? <sighs> there, there was only two people in the grab, and they were, like, half out. That's not- that's your whole team's fault. That's not Genji's fault. Necessarily. Like, nah, that's fine. I, I would be yelling like at the Lucio more like than the Genji. Let's everybody top. Like, Lucio had no reason to be dropped there. Why are you just letting your Ryan die? I don't get it. You, you've literally spent, like, so long doing nothing up, up here. Like, you could be going up there and shooting at them. I guess that's not the best. That could be dangerous because they have a Hanzo, but you could, like, know when he shoots and try to dodge it. You've literally spent, like, 15 seconds not healing anyone or damaging anyone. And your Ryan's about to die. Just nano your Zarya as soon as you get up. You should just nano your Zarya, like, right now. Just do it, holy fuck. I mean, your team might win the fight, but all you're doing is just kill bodying. Nice. Like, not even like... Wasted. You're never like pushing up looking for an offensive nade or sleep. You always just like nade your teammate and they're like slightly injured. Like, I don't get it. You just let your soldier die. Alright. Like, you just take breaks every now and then. You're just like standing there for like five seconds doing nothing. You're like, you know what? I'm just gonna stand here staring at my Ryan. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Holy fuck, I don't know what to do. Holy fuck, I don't know what to do. I'm just not gonna do anything. If, if, if nobody's critical on my team, I'm just gonna do nothing. My Zarya is critical on the right, 100 energy, but I'm just gonna like spam my full health right and let my Zarya die. And randomly nano my Genji in a losing fight. Holy shit, my DPS is killing people. Oh, they rezzed again. The same thing happened as the first time. Oh no. I just randomly walked into the, the front. In front of my 
in front of like the Reinhardt and I died. We need a regroup. That's what we need to do. You pretty much should always walk up high ground, Adana. Out of spawn on top of high ground. Worst case, you just drop. If you need a drop, but if you walk out, out, of, out into low ground, that gives you the option to get on high ground. I'll just one destroyed. You could have easily won that though. Like, I can even tell you how. I mean, hitting the shots would have been a start, but like you missed the shot on him. Obviously, hitting that shot would win you the fight. But you're strafing. You literally strafed right, and then you stood still while scoping him. Like, that's not a difficult shot for him to hit. I'll just one behind. Oh, they're all, they're all in the- We're, we're just gonna ignore the Hanzo and he picked up three of us. Much better than a Kamano. Whoa. Fucking... Where was he? I was up in he front. He was behind. We called it out twice. Genji should be able to take care of a Hanzo easily. That was front of the water. That was like the worst tactical advisor I've ever seen in my life. I don't know. I don't know. Actually, maybe he's lost the people up there, but I thought he was just going for the Winston. I mean, you may as well just nano the first person you see here, or you can save it for next round. I mean, worst case, you nano someone and they get a 6k. Is it okay if I DPS or? I'm fine. You can't really say. Is it okay if I DPS? That's. To me, I would be tilted if somebody says that. Well, I guess it's like good of you, to, nice of you to say it like that. But it's kind of like, why the fuck did you? Why did you literally auto lock? Why did you auto lock Anna if you thought you were good at DPS? Like you could just what? fill. Actually, I might run out. Switching the sides. Select your hero. Could have switched to a diva to harass him. Your team's like, holy fuck, this Hanzo is insane. When you guys just like use... Like the only reason you, you can ever cap a point is because you just... I don't know, you guys just use your ults randomly. You guys just use 5 ults in a fight and then are surprised and mercy. We didn't change our combo like at all. Alright, let's see this tracking. No, because nobody called anything out. Oh, we started up there. Like, hey, we're losing. There's literally we're no reason losing. to be up there. And we lost. I still yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, widow. If you're up there, you can kill that widow. Shields down. Alright, let's drop, let's drop. Mercy needs to die fast. Can you use one? Uh, decent, I guess. You hear the widow grappling behind you, please don't die to her. You should have just go up there. What the fuck? Why are you like. What are you. I'm Lucy on Kirk. Try to win the shield war. There is no shield war. There's no nobody shooting your shield. There literally is no shield war. Their comp is literally Hanzo Widow. The only way that they win this game is if their Hanzo Widow get picks. All you need to do is like sit on the card behind your Rhine Shield and contest. They have a battle mm -hmm. So can we get a can we get a like your, though, just They have a Widow and a Hanzo that are just gonna camp high points all game. That would work really well for us. Like you're you're throwing. Why are you peeking the Widow for no reason? Switch. No way. This is just love. You didn't like ask her Anna if you were close or anything. If she was close. So she ended up nanoing Roadhog, which is like sub optimal. 
just reloaded at like 23 bullets. Like what? Wait. 21. They're like 21. There's a Genji on my mercy. I feel like reloading. You're, that widow's retarded. Dude, just shooting randomly. Okay, let's just say... You probably shouldn't play soldier if you're trying to climb. Unless you're filling. I mean, you can't leave light a shot on. Kind of Fully moving. You must have res mercy. Uh, I can't believe you're about to win this game. Anymore. My ultimate is charging. What? I'm not gonna nano you right now. 60 seconds. I mean, not right now, but like, just so you know. Oh, okay. It's not good. Dot is a pretty shitty crosshair. For nano uh, Genji here. The only hero I think Dot is no good on that. is like Do it. Facer. Kill that mercy, please. Soldier, I'd say short crosshair bloom is my nice favorite. Pull. Or she's being an asshole and making me miss right clicks. Circle with bloom is pretty good. Circle with bloom starts out as a dot, out. and the more you shoot it, it like expands into careful. a circle to show you what you're spreading. Mercy, be super careful. Yeah, um, mercy, yeah, be careful one, and then can you focus healing? The Genji you could have just sprinted up there and started getting more damage on the part of your visor. Well, you could have, you can sprint jump from here to here. Nice get your visor. Nice block. Because basically, if you had got visor here, if shit went bad, or if they had sword or something, I don't remember how long ago he used it, but a visor here, like with mercy on high ground, guarantees you the win, basically. Awesome. Are you ignoring the Winston? Well done. Although I guess going for the squishy on the cart would be very nice. There we go. Nice job. Great job. All you is a little bit more communication. It's not too bad, but low GM seems a little bit ambitious. 